good morning happy monday welcome to another vlog it is currently around 7 30 a.m i'm gonna go work out this is what i'm wearing i'm just wearing my 437 set this is the black color and then this little cute long sleeve moment from while being being in well i think well i think that's what it's called um from revolve we're gonna go run a kilometer i'm doing my october running challenge which is running at least a kilometer every day so i'm gonna run a kilometer and then i started doing form by sammy clark again so i'm gonna do the monday workout which is just like a full body hit um that's what i've been doing for the past few days for my workout routine and i'm gonna be doing berries once a week and then jaybird once a week which is pilates hot pilates um but we ordered all the groceries the fridge is fully stocked i have my meals planned for the week i'm feeling really really good um but really exciting news i woke up this morning from a with a text from my brother-in-law or my sister one of the two saying that they're heading to the hospital my sister has been pregnant and so might be becoming an aunt today. I didn't expect to cry, but <laughs> exciting things. But I'm gonna go work out. Um, don't know when I'll have to head over to the hospital, so we're working from home today. Wow, I did not expect to get emotional about that. Um, but we're gonna be an aunt. Just having a little baby boy and. The sky is really pretty right now, so I'll show you guys. But also, it's October 3rd, so she has the baby today. He's a mean girl's baby. I've just decided that already. But it's so pretty. Happy Monday. And yay to a chaotic start to the vlog. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go work out. Um, I'm not sure if pe the gym's gonna be busy now because I don't really know like the schedule of like other people in my building using the gym yet. So far it's been like pretty empty whenever I've gone. Um, but I feel like there's always like a couple here in the morning whenever I walk past. We're gonna go do that because I need to work out before work. And yeah, we're feeling really good. We're feeling really motivated. Um, I'm really excited for like this journey and I'll sit down later and talk about it a bit more just finished working out i did like some intervals during my one kilometer run like i did a jog a run a hard run um played around with that like for 30 seconds at a time um and then i did my full body with tammy on form this is what the 437 set looks like you guys know i'm obsessed with them but i'm gonna hop in the shower and then i'll make breakfast and then i think i might work at a cafe nearby with Shayna. um i just wanted to be close to home so that if i needed to go to the hospital it would be easy because work is like a 30 40 minute walk away so it just makes it easier being at home because then my stuff can just be at home you know um but we're gonna go shower and get out of these sweaty clothes but i'm so happy i worked out i almost I almost didn't, but it, it, I always feel good. You never regret a good workout. Okay, I can't remember if I showed you that I made this in my last vlog, like last week's, but I've been drinking this every single morning. It's just water, lemon, juice, like juice of half a lemon, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, geez. And, sorry about the noise. Um, and chia seeds, and I'm gonna add a little bit of ice that it's cold but i have this every morning it's the morning gut drink that i have i don't know it just helps with digestion and it's really refreshing to have in the morning i'm gonna add some ice and i'll drink this while i'm getting ready it looks funny because of the chia seeds but honestly like it's kind of satisfying to chew on them but yeah just been making this every morning can we just take a moment this avocado is perfect we're making a smoothie. We're doing, it's called the Debloat smoothie. It has these ingredients. I'll let you know how it is.
feel like we're slowly getting better. Dairy girl. I feel like I'm always in the same spot, but I was just doing some work. Just got off two calls back to back. I'm having my salad that I prepped last night. It was just the leftovers from dinner. I got this chicken sausage at the farmer's market um, and it's actually delicious. I just cooked it in the oven while roasting some sweet potato. And I was supposed to go into the office today, but I'm not because I don't know when have to run to go to the hospital to see my sister but it's just mixed greens um some honey crisp apple which i got at the farmer's market and they were are by far like the best like honey crisp slash apples in general that i've ever had they're so sweet and delicious um chicken sausage sweet potato and then I think I put a little bit of broccoli in here. And then it's a Dijon mustard, Dijon lemon mustard dressing that I made at home. Literally just three tablespoons olive oil, three tablespoons um, lemon juice, and then a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I do have a facial at Formula Fig um, at 5.15, so. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. I'm also going to add some of this sauerkraut that I picked up at the farmer's market. It's just classic sauerkraut. It's only cabbage and sea salt. Yeah. So I'm going to add some of that. It's a fermented food. It's really good for your gut. And I've kind of just been snacking on this whenever. Um, the smoothie I made earlier was actually really good and it kept me full until now so pros of having a balanced meal but i'm going to eat this and then i'll probably just go on a little walk around the block just because i haven't gotten outside yet and i've been sitting for so long um i think i'm gonna have orange juice with my meal i got this unpasteurized freshly squeezed orange juice from metro it tastes so good like i'm such a tropicana bitch i love orange juice with pulp now but this just tastes so good um i don't know i'm back i feel like i'm back to drinking like the things that i drank when i was younger like i always had orange juice all the time and i used to drink like lactose free milk and now i'm drinking dairy again so healthy balanced meal it's our pff G meal, our greens are the mixed greens. Our protein is the chicken sausage. Our healthy fats are in the dressing, so the olive oil. And then um, we also have fiber from the sauerkraut and all the veggies, the sweet potato. So she's a balanced meal. We love her. And I'm just gonna eat this, maybe watch a little YouTube while having it, and then go on a little walk around the block. I guess I'm an aunt. I have a little nephew. He's so cute. We don't have a name yet. Um, so adorable. I'm going to go to the hospital later. Um, but I'm going to go for a little walk. Maybe grab a coffee um, from Good Good. And come back because I just haven't moved. I haven't gone that walk yet that I said I was going to go on and i need to move um but we're probably gonna go to the hospital in a little bit we're just waiting for them to get their room and yeah auntie lan i don't know what my name is gonna be i don't know if i want to be called an aunt but hot aunt energy <laughs> taking shane on a little coffee date before she leaves me i have separation anxiety and we also decided we switched outfit roles. This is Shana's outfit of the day. Dressed like Alana. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thought they said Alana. <laughs> How do you like your Uggs? 
I haven't taken them off in a week and it's, it was a good purchase, but I'm actually kind of worried for myself. I haven't worn normal clothes in a while. <laughs> That's okay. Henry's been replaced, everyone. Oh my god. The gremlin is here. Yeah, the gremlin has arrived. Papaya. Boo, boo, boo. Oh no, my battery's gonna die. Oh, no. Good girl. She's gonna hit a spin. Okay, you guys, it's literally been, I don't know how many days since I've picked you up, but we're gonna continue the vlog. It's currently Saturday night. I went for drinks with Corey and Jess. Um, we literally just like went to Ruby Soho in Toronto. I grabbed like one drink and then we went to Neho for happy hour. Didn't even get drinks there. Like just like we decided we wanted like one or two drinks. Me and Jess did this a few weeks ago and it was honestly really nice. Like you still get like the appeal and the vibe of like going out, but you don't have to like get drunk um, or stay out super late. But I've been craving ice cream all day, like soft serve ice cream. I almost ordered yoga and fruits earlier and i just like can't push off this craving so i literally ordered la dippery um i got the la roche one with vanilla and then i also ordered their cookie dough like oreo cookie dough because i had to spend at least 15 dollars to get the free delivery but update the vlog i dyed my hair today she's dark i love it so much we did like a bit of a red undertone you can't really see it in this light, but in the natural light, it's awesome. I don't know, I love, I feel like the dark hair just like frames my face and makes my eyes pop. I don't know, I love it so much. My food will be here in, well it said one o'clock. Okay, it said 1.10 and then it said one o'clock, now it's saying 1.05. Um, Zoo has my order. I hope she gets here speedy quick. I think she's on a bike. Um, but this is the fit. Top is Revolve. It's actually really, really comfy. It has these cute straps that go like thinner and then thick. And it's like a bustier top. It's this like super thick cottony material. And it does up at the back like bra hooks. Um, but it's super cute wearing these jeans. These are the retro high loose or whatever from Garage. So yeah, little update. I've been having so much fun vlogging for you guys. I don't know. I just, I'm in my vlogging era. And we love it so much. Um, but also guys, my hamstrings and like inner thigh, I don't know if it's like muscle soreness, they i don't know if it's from running from doing my october challenge but they've just been like sore and i can't tell if it's like um like muscle stiffness like just from like working out or if it's an injury um but i kind of just been pushing through it we'll find out hopefully oh now it's saying one o'clock so i don't want to stay up too late i should probably take my makeup off but when your makeup and hair just look too good and you just you know and you don't want to take it off but also my skin's breaking out right now here and like i don't want it to get worse but i feel like i finally nailed my skincare routine also i keep saying also we're just gonna do a million one life updates you're leaning on my mirror new angle guys okay Last night, I went with Moroccan Oil to the Lizzo concert, which was so cool. I got to go to one hotel and I got my hair and makeup done. Um, hair was done by Moroccan Oil um, stylist. My makeup done, then we went to Casa Madeira, which is like a Mexican restaurant, and had dinner there and drinks. And then we went to Lizzo and they said we were front row, but I wasn't really sure what like was a front row of like the 100s or whatever. Front row floor. I've never sat on the floor before and I love Lizzo. Like I would never like think, I don't think I would like think to buy tickets. Like obviously I didn't, but I love her music. It's all over TikTok, like it's on the radio and I love her. Um, great performer, honestly, incredible show. And I'm like, 
very picky so i had such an incredible time and it was definitely like so many pinch me moments like i'd be watching for farm and be like holy shit like just like trying to process like how i got here and like why i was there and like who i was there with and it's just like crazy that i've had all these opportunities from just like taking a chance and posting online so i thank you guys so much every single day i'm so grateful for all of you guys because i wouldn't be here without you guys so yeah and i literally would not be in this apartment without you guys so i love you guys so much I will show you when I have the ice cream. I have to show you it in the cookie dough. And yeah, I love my hair. She, I wish my hair would look like this every day. I thought the color would like not lighten. I can't wait till all the bleach is out of my hair, like grown out. I really want to grow my hair to like here. So we got a bit to go. But I also like my hair this length, but I think I want to grow it longer again. Okay, show me, I'll show you guys when the ice cream is here. Okay, this is the cookie dough. Never had the Oreo one. And then this is the ice cream. It always is like so massive. Okay, we're gonna try a little bit of the cookie dough. No. I'm gonna sit on the couch, watch some OC, eat my ice cream, and then go to bed. See you in the morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Sorry, my washing machine's just going off for washing the towels. It's a lovely sunny day. I'm going to go walk to get coffee. Um, I love getting my coffee out on the weekend. I'm gonna wear this. So I was wearing a full sweatsuit and then I was like, I'm kind of hot and I feel a little schlumpy. So I put on my Align leggings. This is the cropped boxy boyfriend zip up from Rizia and Heather Cloud White. Love my hair. I slept with it down and it held pretty well touch it up later i'm gonna go walk for coffee and i'll probably put on a vest it's like 10 degrees outside Way too hot in a vest. We got a latte, non fat latte, picked up some chocolate, got um, a spa treatment. I'll show you at home, but just walking back. We just got home. Let's do a little haul. I'm also kind of dying of heat over here. I got a non fat latte. I can't decide if I like full fat or non fat better yet. I got two chocolates. I wanted to get the Black & Decker, but it was so much more expensive at Goodness Me. So these ones were like normal price. So I got Alter Ego in the Sea Salt, and then I got the Zazu Bean Nudie, which if you guys have been following me for a while, then you know like this is like the OG that I love. I love that sweetened with coconut sugar, and both of these are organic. I picked up a new bottle of the Epiclair Duo. I got the tinted one this time because I want to use it as like instead of concealer on my acne um, on a day to day to help heal it, you know. I saw someone do this on a no makeup like skincare routine video and then I just like haven't had gum and I've been wanting gum like every single day like so many times so I just finally picked it up. But yeah, that's my little haul. I'm gonna make breakfast i'm debating if i want a smoothie or if i want chia pudding i 
feel like I might do Shea pudding because I have like my strawberries and blueberries that I need to use up. And I think if I don't use them today and tomorrow, they're gonna go bad. So let's do that. It's just the chia pudding that Steph gave me. Almond milk, blueberries, strawberries are borderline not okay, but it's fine, we're fine. I'm just gonna have the recipe. It's a quarter cup of chia seeds, so we're gonna do half, so an eighth. Then it's a scoop of protein powder, I think. Work up. Protein powder and all, all over everything. And a cup of almond milk. Hopefully I have enough. And then you can let it sit overnight or for at least 20 minutes in the fridge the chia seeds can absorb into the almond milk i'm gonna let that sit i'm gonna do a little bit of editing of this vlog because i have some of the footage on my computer ready and yeah it's been a few hours i went for brunch with my mom we ended up splitting a french toast i got an americano with a little bit of whole milk Went with her to get her brows done and then I went and grabbed coffee spontaneously with a guy. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> and then now I'm just making a salad. I had a little bit of the cookie dough that I got last night. We just prepped this chicken and fennel salad. It has kale, fennel that is in like some sort of dressing. I'm going to add a little more olive oil to massage the kale chicken that i have prepared added some avocado because it's starting to go bad and then some some flower seeds so nice balanced meal over here I decided to book my nails for five it's about to be four debating if i want to stay neutral or if i want to keep the theme of going dark and do like dark brown or something or black maybe i don't really know yet we'll see but i need to get my nails fixed because this one is breaking um i'm gonna continue watching the oc and you know just chill out and then i'll work out after i get my nails done i've got my nails done i absolutely love them i did um you don't know jack me jacks or it's me jacks or something um with white chrome on top it's 9 p.m i'm gonna go run a kilometer that's what i'm promising myself to do i told myself i'd do this challenge and i told myself i would work out today and i know that this is <laughs> laziness not tiredness so i'm gonna keep this promise to myself by showing up for myself and that i can do this because i know i'm gonna feel good afterwards um also i'm just like bored out of my mind just sitting here so i'm gonna run that's all i'm gonna do if i want to do more then i'll do more but I just don't really get my hair sweaty. However, I did get sent this package from Alterna. I'm not sure what the brand is. This is really interesting. It's a melt away, no rinse micellar cleanser with botanical caviar. It's like this cream to powder, no rinse micellar hair cleanser that absorbs oil or sweat and breaks down product for hair that feels shower clean. Really interesting. Maybe I'll try this out. Um, they sent a few other things. And then I also got... You guys know I've been, I don't know if I spoke about it, but I've been doing retinol. So Biotherm sent me their Blue Pro Retinol Multi-Correct Cream. And then they also sent the retinol serum that you use at night. I've been using the Shiny Darden one, but interested to try these out. So thank you Biotherm and thank you Alterna for sending your products. I'm going to go run. I'm going to just take my face makeup off first so that I don't break out but I have a facial on Tuesday oh and this is the details of the fit just wearing my wonder train leggings I love these for running and hit and then my free to be elevated or serene I don't remember I think serene bra 
and I need to unpack my dishwasher. You know, this is what my sink looks like sometimes. Hashtag reality check. Okay, let's go run. I ended up walking for like 12 minutes while I FaceTimed my friend David and then I ran a kilometer, walked a kilometer, and did that four times. I ended up running four kilometers. This goes to show you that all you need to do is get yourself to start and then the rest is easy. I feel really good that I did that. I unpacked and put the dirty dishes away. I tried out this. I think I like it. We'll report back. It seems really interesting, so I'll let you know. I don't know. It feels nice. It doesn't feel like it's added any weight or anything to my hair and made it greasy. Like, it's helped. So, really interesting concept. Kind of like dry shampoo vibe. Um, so, we'll report back. We're going to take a body shower. And I think I'm just going to watch some TV. I'm debating if I want to eat something because I don't really have a proper dinner. I had cookie dough. So I feel like I probably should have something protein focused. I don't know, but it's like already after 10. So not too sure, but really happy I moved. I feel really good. And it was honestly like therapy. I was listening to a Y2K girly pop um, playlist like Hannah Montana, Demi Lovato, Ali and AJ vibes. Hillary Duff, I don't know if I said that. Yeah. I'll speak to you in the morning. Good morning, happy Monday, happy Thanksgiving. Wow, my face kind of looks weird, okay, whatever. Um, I just got back from going on a little coffee walk and I got an iced latte, it was so good. I went to French Maid again, I went with a friend and I'm just wearing this. This is basically my uniform at this point. I'm obsessed with these sweaters. They're so comfy and cute, but I'm going to make some protein pancake situation. Like I think I'm gonna do protein powder, eggs, and um, oats maybe, I don't know. We'll find a recipe. I don't have banana, so can't like do that ordeal but we'll figure something out. And I need to finish filming a campaign for a brand I'm working with on TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. Um, so I gotta do that. And then obviously I wanna edit this vlog. I have a podcast recording this afternoon. I wanna record an episode for my own podcast, but that is what's up. That's what we're doing today. Super chill vibes and i'm probably gonna try to get this vlog up today so if you're watching this happy thanksgiving again and yeah oh also update on the my cellar thing like my hair feels amazing so i do really like it i looked at the reviews and like the reviews weren't super great like they're either really good or really like not great but honestly i really really like it I just made the batter. It's two scoops of the Ritual protein powder, a tablespoon of almond flour, a quarter cup of Greek yogurt, milk, um, an egg, and I add a little bit of cinnamon. We're gonna butter the pan, and I might put chocolate chips in them. I have like the little Lee's ones, and we'll call it a day. I've been craving pancakes for so long, and now I finally have time to do it, so. Gotta do what you gotta do. Chocolate chips, butter. I've been using grass fed butter instead. literally pancake murder scene over here that batter was not good do not make the batter whatever i made <laughs> but this is just the reality not aesthetic not cute we failed at making pancakes today and it's okay it's fine it's 
I'm gonna end the vlog here just because I want to get editing, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna be uploading every week, either on like Sunday or Monday, somewhere around there. I love you guys so much. Make sure to go listen to the newest episode of Morning Ray that came out today. It's about all about entering a new season of you. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.